thank you very much. And again, thank you um, to the Sandoval Democratic Women for hosting this event and inviting all of us, but for me also to be, have a chance to say a few words this evening. My name is Linda Lopez. I'm a state senator for 13 years representing the South Valley and the Southwest Mesa in the New Mexico State Senate. I've been a state senator for 13 years. I have the experience needed to run the Senate of our great state. Constitutionally, the Lieutenant Governor runs the Senate. I know my senators, they know me. I know who can vote for what, I know who cannot vote for what, I know who won't, and all those different things that happen. I know where some of the bones are buried. I know where some of them will be this happen. I've done a few myself. <laughs> I admit it. But that's part of the game and part of the dance that we do up in Santa Fe. What I bring to the table is my experience. But I also bring a wealth of what I do support on behalf of us as Democrats. If you go to my website, votelindalopez.com, you will see my 13 years of history of legislation that I've introduced. Dealing with early childhood, we talk about the importance of education for our children. I'm a single mother. I have a son who's a third grader, uh, attends a dual language immersion program. So he has bilingüe, habla los dos idiomas igual. He goes between English and Spanish perfectly. And I believe in it. I've introduced legislation that deals with the important issues that affect our families, that affect what happens and what affects those children that go to school, some of our dropouts, some of the issues. Issues on drug abuse, issues on domestic violence, issues on things that support our families, which is what's at the <coughs> core of what we can do to help our people to give them a hand up. I've introduced legislation that works with regards to ethics. I've introduced an ethics commission bill talking about what we can do to make the state so we have elected leaders who are ethical. I'm ethical. Everything I do is on top level. Some of you may have seen the article in the newspaper this morning. I'm not hiding anything out there. Is this who I am? I live in a fishbowl, so everything I do is public. That's part of the process of being a public official. You have to know that everything you do is public. No more hiding. You can't do anything. It is who we are. I am an ethical person. I'm an honest person. You can ask any of my constituents down in the South Valley, and they'll tell you. I'm an independent Democrat. I've stood against the governor on a few times talking about some of those bills that he's brought in front of us. I've stood against him. I may be on his list some of the times, but that's my job and that's my role to represent my community. Yeah. That's what I bring to the table. For our governor, when she's elected, she needs somebody who's going to watch her back. I can do that. I'm not afraid to stand up to anybody. I don't back down. I listen to both sides. That's who I am. I try to make an informed decision. I sit and read sometimes late at night when my son is sleeping. But that's my job and that's my role of what I do. And that's what I bring to the table in running as a candidate for lieutenant governor. The other opportunities. I've taken care of my mom for a couple of years, so I understand and know what the values are of what we do to take care of our elders. I'm still learning about the situation that deals as we talk about the health care bill in, in Washington, D.C. How's that going to affect our seniors? I'm kind of that baby boomer sandwich generation, but many of us were all kind of getting to that point. So what are we going to do with our health care program that we have here in the state of New Mexico? Those are things that I can bring to the table because I, too, have that experience, and I have a firm belief of what we can do for our state. As I travel New Mexico, we have many different issues, as um, Chairman Montoya and others have mentioned. We have conservative, we have uh, middle of the road, you have the real liberal. It's as who we are as Democrats. And what I can say that I have done in the Senate, in our New Mexico State for 13 years, is try to come to the middle. Because that's the best that we can do to get things done in the state. It's working on behalf of all of our communities. Not just one, it's everybody working together. I'm willing to stand there to support our governor when she's elected. I do not need OJT from day one. I am there from day one to take care of it. And in fact, we've done a few opening day things. If you haven't, check out the history on the Senate. I know what to expect, and I know I will be there for our governor. Thank you very much.